Okay, so um, I suppose we'll begin by just picking somewhere where we'll be measuring from. So let's call that point um, over here. And just for the sake of perp, just for the sake of this um, this thing, we'll we'll say that the next point, the, this is going to be the first distance that we're going to find the square root of. Just so to kind of give us some understanding of what this what's going on here. We're going to pick that as 4 away from it. Now that could be any distance at all, but let's say it's 4. And we'll also need a point on the other side of A, which is 1 away from A. Now, I then come along and I draw a, um, a circle. Um, but I'll need to know the midpoint. Now I could draw the semicircle and all that sort of stuff, but let's go at this properly. So let's find the midpoint between B and C. And that's point D, and then we can draw a um, a circle. Um, actually, let's stick with a semicircle. Keep the lines down. I'm gonna go from C to B. So I suppose if we were doing this on paper, you would need D, but the glory of GeoGebra, we don't need it. Now, just to give us something to work from, let's put in the line um, BC, and it so happens that. Um, we don't really need this guy here anymore, so let's get rid of D. Okay, maybe don't um, cancel. So, <clears throat> um, it happens that when we have this set up, um, if we draw a perpendicular through A, perpendicular to BC, the distance distance from A to E is equal to the square root of A to B and that's that's based on the uh, that's based on that corollary whereby we have a right angle inside a semicircle here <clears throat> and a bit of Pythagoras will get you will get you that that A will get you that AE is always the square root of AB um, now next thing let's do the same we'll just pick any distance at all this time so let's pick it in distance down here somewhere um, and we're going to find the square root of that distance. So, if I want to find the square root of that distance, I go one beyond. Um, I go one beyond a. Um, yep. Okay, and I pick that point up there, and then I can put a semicircle around those chaps. Doom, uh, doom, and I now know that the distance from a to h is the square root of a to f so let's just think about that it's 2 4 it's slightly bigger than 4 and a to h is slightly bigger than 2 so that that looks good to me now um if i want to multiply two if i want to multiply two line segments together i could i could use the area method and that would give me an area but if let's say i wanted it in um what I, what I would consider to be a, a, a linear form, but maybe you might be more happier with scalar or something like that. So if I want it in, in just a one-dimensional um, uh, a one-dimensional distance, let's say, I can, I can use the construction that divides a given line segment into n number of sections. I can run that construction but backwards and I can use that to multiply because I know the distance from A to G is 1. So if I want to multiply um, AE by AH, which is both of those square root distances. So if I want to multiply, multiply those two square roots together, I can run the construction backwards. So I can say that... Um, So that's so a to h is the projection of one of them. So if I draw a parallel line to g h, but I draw it through e, well then a to I need to zoom in here. Sorry about this. A to i is going to be the multiplication of a h by a e and let's just check that we have one two three four units high here and we have um two four slightly more than 
Um, what's going on there? Sorry about this. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. We have, um, <laughs> sorry, we have two units high, and so we're doubling a h, and that works out quite nicely because we can see that it's, um, it's going from, yeah. So we're okay with that. So basically, a i is the product of those two square root distances. Now, the next thing that I have to do is take a look at the, um, the, the product, the product of the original distances, AF to AB, not the product of the square roots of the distances, but the actual product of the distances. So let's find the product of those distances using the same system. So we go um, B to down here, and then we draw a parallel line to that through F. And that's going to give us um, a great big point over here somewhere. So we now know AK is the product of AF and AB. So if I find the square root of that product, we're getting really close now to where we need to be. So I'm going to find the square root of that product. So I start there and go to there with my semicircle. And I now know that that distance from there to A, from L to A, is the square root of the product AB and AF. So maybe just zoom back in there and we'll do the um, the um, the finale, 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 um, the the QED. Maybe it's not a QED for a construction. Anyway. Um, um, circle, yeah. So let's just check that the distance AL is the same as the distance from A to I. So center here, pencil, um, center here, and shoot through there, and hopefully this will also go through I. And look at that. So that's telling me that the product of the square roots is equal to the square root of the product.